Hello there, and welcome to my fifth 2D tutorial. And in this 2D tutorial, you will learn how to load and play videos in your game. Now, I'm not just talking about loading it in, I'm talking about um, making your selection from a list of things, kind of like how you would um, in a program. So, it's pretty easy. First, I'm just going to add a little sprite here. Um, and it's just a little play icon. Alright, so then we only need one object to do all that. Alright, so step. Alright, splash, splash, set, scale, 2. Okay, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so if you left press, so you click on it, video file, which is a variable that I just created, equals get open file name, which is what opens the window. And then this is what they will see so video files WMV AVI and big so they're so those are showing them their options now to make sure that the computer knows what the options are we have to do a lot of weird symbols here so a little line there and then this is showing that it, this is what they aren't seeing anymore anyway so this is little thing here um, indicate that that's where the name is going to go and then WMV or AVI or MPEG now a lot of more little symbols. There we go. So that's how you load the video in. Now here to play it. So all you have to do is splash, splash, um, show video, video file, and then zero. That's just loop. So that's to show. So zero is if it doesn't loop. You don't want the video to keep looping over and over again. So anyway, splash set scale to two. This means that the video will be two times the original size. If you set it to one, it'll be the exact same size that it always is. And if you set it to three, then it's three times and so forth. So um, now, splash set main false. Okay, so what the, okay, splash set size. This is just making sure that it knows in the middle of the screen. That's my size of my screen. So splash set stop mouse. True. So this means that if I click on it, then it'll stop the video. Splash set border false. This means because what it does is it's opening opening up a separate window. So if, if um I'm making sure that it doesn't see the border to that window. So anyway, then splash set interrupt false, meaning that you can't press the escape key to close it. Otherwise, if you set um if you press the escape key, then it would exit it out, and I don't want that. So splash set main false, meaning that it is a window and not um, fixed in the game. This is handy because then you can use other things such as scale, border, and size and stuff. So anyway, and there you go. That's how to play it. So all these variables are just making the video what you want. So then all you have to do is make your room, put the little play button in there, and then play the game. Now it's surprisingly fast how fast it loads the video. So anyway, I'm going to press play here. It's going to open up this little thing. There we go. So now all I have to do is select my video. Open. And it automatically starts playing it. Just as good quality as it would normally. There we go. Now, I've also heard some comments that uh, when I video these games it's not going very fast well unfortunately that's just how it goes when I video it it's either copyright against um, me against like videoing videos that way you can't get the, rip them into the computer that way or it's just simply that it's finding a hard time reading the GM script as every step anyway sorry about that so yeah that's all you have to do to play videos in Game Maker. This is especially handy for when you want to have an intro. So you make an intro to your game as a video and then you can load it in very easily. You can also do this with sound. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this fifth 2D tutorial. Goodbye.